Hello everyone, Whilst 21 here and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be having a look at what I believe is the best free video editing software there is uh, available to use. And as we will find out now in this video that I've already recorded um, but forgot to do this intro, hence the intro, it is DaVinci Resolve. Uh, sit back now, I'll take you through the whole uh, process and uh, let me know at the end of the video what you think. So first of all, you want to go to Google, hit DaVinci Resolve and hit the top link here. This will take you to Blackmagic Design and we'll scroll down looking for the free download link here. There's also a buy option as you can see there for $295. But we're going to hit the uh, free version which is going to be Re uh, Resolve 18 rather than Studio. Both are available for Mac, Windows and Linux. We're also going to do Windows here in this case. And in this, uh, in this screen here, you have to fill in all your details. Um, it's just a survey thing. Hit download, wait for it all to download and uh, let it install. Then once it's installed, it's extracted it anyway. In my case here, it is a desktop. And then just follow all the uh, windows uh, for having it all installed. So we're gonna double click this screen now, wait for it all to open. Uh, this will take a couple of seconds. But essentially what this is gonna do, as you'll see here, it will download everything that it needs, such as uh, uh, C++ for Windows as well as anything else. On this first option here, you see a couple of options to download. So you've got all the C++ stuff there. Um, you can have Fairy Light, which I'm about to tick and untick. I'm just going to all leave it to uh, default. So everything there is what's going to download. Hit install, and as you can see here on the sped up bit, it's going to install everything that it needs. Once it's installed everything, uh, towards the end, uh, it will say restart the computer. And all you have to do is basically hit yes, restart. So we just selected, that's where it's all gonna install. And any second now you'll see the restart. Just hit yes, restart once it is done. Right in, um, here we go then. So the first part of that was probably all voiceover. Uh, but uh, here we are, live recording. This is DaVinci Resolve, as you can see, um, I, it's a very powerful free editing uh, software that you can use for YouTube. In fact, I still now and again use it now, and obviously I'm going to be using it on this laptop since it's the only thing installed. When you first boot it up, you'll be greeted with a window very similar to this, and uh, you can see at the bottom here, I'm in the cut tab by default. On the left here, you've got media tab. This is where you can handle all your media. You can see at the left here, you've got your sort of like file areas, but you don't really need to ever go in there. Um, so you've got your cut tab, which is this one. You've got your edit tab, which is, this would be the main tab that you'll be dealing with. Next, you've got your fusion, uh, color and music, uh, audio, should I say. I've never re really them to start with. You can deal with that if you want to, but Realistically, to start off with YouTube, you don't really need to mess around with them all too much. And finally, at the end, you've got your Deliver tab. This would be, as you can see here, um, so we hit YouTube 1080p by default. Um, you can go all the way up to 4K Ultra HD, um, which is what I normally go up to, but for the sake of this video, it might end up being 1080p, being as it's on this laptop. So let's just go back over to the cut tab and then we're going to import our media. To do that, all you gotta do is hit file. You can hit new project here if you wanna uh, completely do a new project straight away. And then we've got import. So we've got save project, save project as, if you wanna rename your project. Import, import project. So if you've got another project, you can import it right away. But we're gonna concentrate on import and then we're gonna go to media since it's actual media that we're gonna be putting in. So we're going to go import media. You can already see I'm already in the right area. Just drag and drop everything. I'm not too sure what's what. Now this is saying uh, change project frame rate. So um, I'm not 100% sure what the default is, but this will change it to the frame rate that your recordings are likely to be at. So I let's say change there. That way then there's no stuttering or anything happening there. And we can see all of our uh, recordings have been dragged in by here. So for the sake of this video, let's just uh, grab one of these. Let's just drag this one here. So we've got the last one. We're gonna drag it down. And there it is there. So this is the one of the clips that we've just recorded not too long ago. 
it's not very long and you might have just seen some of this on the uh, previous bit so you'll notice right at the start here I had OBS open which is here in the background there we go that's OBS I don't want that coming up I want to be right where um, I'm talking so basically there so I want to snip this bit here and get rid of this first bit this is one reason why I like it so we're in the edit tab we can go over here to the split caps or no actually that's a cut tab or we can go over to this edit tab this is the one I'm normally in and by default you'll probably have a screen like this so that is uh, basically your know, clips that you're working on or looking at and then the finished article by here which is what is on the timeline at the bottom I personally don't like these two like that so I come over here to the right and you see this little box here it looks like a single square I click that and then we just have the what's in the timeline is up here I personally prefer that I think it's much better it's up to you what you prefer people professionals like it the dual view mode I don't so on the here we want to cut this here we want to get to the blade tool so this is the cutting tool click on that and come over you'll see like a little yellow line in fact let's just drag this timeline up and make it bigger so we can just see what's going on you can see I'm dragging it up you can even hit control I think or was it shift so we've got shift it does that I think yeah so that was alt and shift one of them zooms in the timeline so we got this here this this is what I'm on about here that zooms in and out the timeline so you can see 1 to 104 if I move this up now it's you know 1 to 102 so I've made it a lot smaller and I want to just basically snip this by there and we don't need this at the first bit so we go back to the um, selection mode so the arrow and we got that we can right click and we can do a couple we could do a ripple cut a direct cut um, a lot of people prefer the ripple cut we can do the ripple delete and the selection and whatnot so what we're going to do is we're just going to do the ripple cut and what a ripple cut does is it'll cut it out and it'll drag the rest of it over so if I do file undo and then we do a right click and cut now you can see there's a big massive blank space by here so if for example you can see here there's one audio one video if for example I had um, a lot more than that so if I do that and just add track add track so you can do this you can add multiple tracks in here make them bigger and smaller and whatnot so if you had more tracks up there if you did the ripple cut it would delete everything in that area so all the way up there and it would drag everything down that's why I personally don't like the ripple cut but it's up to you and then what I then do afterwards is manually so it should drag this up so we can see it it's just manually drag them across to where we want to so there we are it's snapped into place on zero zero and that's a simple way of doing it so all you do is you go through and just say right okay there's a little bit here i didn't want so let's just uh, cut that by there up to there right we didn't want that so let's just delete that and then drag it across there we go i hit delete button then you can see it did ripple so it pulled it together and that's what i'm saying about the ripple stuff it just drags it together so you may often just want to do the right click and uh, cut or I uh, see it all do the control and X to cut it out completely. So that is just a couple of quick uh, tips. And then when you're done, then uh, just to speed this video up, you just hit deliver as we've already shown you. Go to your YouTube, rename it whatever you want and, um, and whatnot. So, oh yeah, add to render queue here, sorry, add to render queue, it'll ask you where to save it, it'll pull it up here, and then you hit this render all button, and it'll just render the video up. I'm not going to do it, because obviously this video is already taking too long now. If there's any more, do you want me to do actual guides on this? This is just a quick, this is the best free uh, video editing program for um, 
Windows, Mac OS as well, and Linux. Uh, I believe this is the best free one that you can use. It is seriously powerful. It's Blackmagic design. The pros, the film industry, they use this software or a variant of this software. So that's how good it is. The only downside is you will have to check with your computer if it will run. Now I'm a little surprised now with this one. It's actually running really fine. I'm, I've got a laptop here and it is actually running perfectly fine. I'm a little surprised about that. Um, it's running a lot better than I thought. So best way to do it for you to find out is download it, test it. It's free. Put your details in, test it and whatnot. And it's completely free. If it doesn't work, delete it, uninstall it, try something else. If you want me to try some other programs, let me know. If you want me to show you other actual guides on this program, let me know. This was just a quick, quick video. I'm blabbering on again, so thank you all to my Patreon subscribers. Their names will be at the top right, as well as uh, any uh, PayPal donators. Their names will be up there. I appreciate all your help. So thank you, everyone, and ciao for now, everyone.